Good afternoon to everyone. And I know that you might have a question. Why should you support Ukraine more and more? And I will tell you why. This was me nearly 10 years ago. A young girl playing at the barricades of Euromaidan between protesters and the police. A young girl in love with freedom and being very honest to my purpose. I want to do everything possible to live in a free, democratic, European Ukraine. I belong to a generation of independent Ukrainians, those who have never seen Soviet Union, and we were raised with yellow-blue colors of freedom that is not taken for granted. And everything that I have in my life, I have because of my hard work and also because of being true to my purpose. No matter what I was doing, studying in the best universities, fundraising for my scholarships, working on governmental campaigns to support Ukraine, cultural diplomacy campaigns, uh, filmmaking documentaries about Ukraine, or becoming a member of the parliament, I know that I'm in the right place because I serve the mission to build a free, democratic, future, European future of my country. Ukraine is a country of unique opportunities, of very hard-working people, of good education, of digitalization. We're the country of people who know what bravery is, what courage is. If we don't like something, we take responsibility and we change it. And it's not only in our home or it's in our work, it's in the history we make. And here you see our people without weapon being able to stop Russian tanks. You also see here our farmers keep working with the land while being under the fire. You see me here, a young girl, a woman, but in fact, I'm not unique. I'm certainly not special. I'm not special in my love for freedom. I'm just one of millions of Ukrainians, men and women, husbands and wives, sons and daughters, being in love with freedom, and doing everything possible to defend our right to live in freedom. And now, I want you to ask to close your eyes and imagine a world where the birds have stopped singing, where you come to your house, but it no longer exists when the whole farm is flooded and every animal in the local zoo is dead. When your child goes to a school, but there is no school anymore. Where your children can't play in the park because of the landmines. And the only thing you can hear is this. And when you open your eyes, it's 24th of February. The day when the war has started for majority of Ukrainians. But not for me. For me, it started nearly six months before that, when my soulmate, my partner, the former president of Georgia, Mikhail Saakashvili, the first ever political leader who opposed Putin, who opposed Russian invasion of Georgia, was arrested on illegal 
political ground of political persecution, political revenge, on his way from Ukraine to Georgia. Until then, we lived as a happy family, full of plans, me, ambitious young woman, being very active in Ukraine parliament, young politician, him having so much experience in politics, being very active, but more importantly, we were expecting a child. For Mikhail and I, we were dreaming how we would be walking together with our child in our garden of grapes and roses in our house at the outskirts of Kyiv, where we used to live. In the same house, I woke up on the 24th of February, alone, to the sound of explosions. A close friend came in saying, Lisa, wake up, the war has started. The same friend would be wounded later near Bakhmut. But at that time, at 4 a.m., he was helping me to get to the parliament so that I could vote for the martial law and to mobilize society. Since then, so many days have passed. So many broken houses, broken destinies, lives, relationships. And now, I am a mother of Ukrainian child. And the childhood of my child is far from the dream we were imagining. She's being raised by only one parent, by me, her mother. One day, she will know how much her father, who opposed Russian invasion for his active, brave stand against Putin, had to go through physical, psychological harm, how many days he has to spend in prison. One day, she would know how much of physical risks, harassment, her mother, me, had to go through while visiting him in prison and defending him while being pregnant. One day, she would know what is the real price we all pay. My child, together with thousands of Ukrainian children, are currently knowing that there is a war at home, that it's not safe, and they are being raised by only one parent, by us, Ukrainian mothers, Ukrainian women. And we don't have a choice. When we feel alone, when we don't sleep at night, when our house is bombed, we know what we must do. We have to stand up to fight to protect our children. We have to do everything possible to protect their right to live in freedom. My colleague in parliament has lost her husband, the father of her two children. And she is now alone with two children, but keeps her active work in Ukraine parliament. Why should you support Ukraine? Because we want to live on our soil together with our families. And why should you support Ukraine? Because it's not only about Ukraine. It's about no matter where you live, in Norway, Denmark, Germany, US, Georgia, your choice to support Ukraine shapes your future in freedom too, together with your families. And yes, I'm asking more specifically for imposing more sanctions on behalf of your countries to restrict Russian aggression. Yes, I'm asking for more weapons, jets, because weapons is as important as food for us in our daily life to defend it. 
Yes, I'm asking for Ukraine recovery, assistance. We need it a lot. And I'm also asking you, on behalf of your organizations, your countries, stand up to help us to release our political prisoners who oppose Putin, those who speak the truth, help us to get our prisoners of war back. And here's something that you can do more specifically now. You can help to raise funds for the educational fund for Ukrainian children pursuing arts and science activities during the war. Because we need to make sure that our children receive good education with well-being and positivity, and we need it right now. Why should you support Ukraine? Because if you care about freedom, then stand with Ukraine. If you care about the food security of the world, if you care about European security, then stand with Ukraine. If you care about the family, then stand with Ukraine. If you care about the future of your own, then stand with ours. Why should you support Ukraine? Because we want to live. Thank you. Don't forget to stand for freedom no matter where you are. It's very important for our future. Thank you. Thank you.